Hello Lana, welcome to my class today. We want to discuss natural numbers. As you know, math is a subject that, that enables us to speak precisely and to be able to solve problems that we may encounter in day-to-day -day life. So before I start with the natural numbers, I want to say what numbers are. Numbers are basically mathematical symbols that are used to denote a quantity or a value. And natural, natural simply means something that exists without any alteration. So natural numbers are those that denote quantity or value and they exist the way they are. The symbols are also called digits and they include 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 9 is the last one. So normally 0 does not have any value, but it is normally placed in uh, maybe after a number for that number to have a value. For example, if you have 0, 0 is just 0. But if I put 5 beside it, to the, uh, to the left side, it will become 50. 50 is much, uh, is different from the five, yeah? Yes, and now, these numbers were extracted in Hindu. So we call them Hindu Arabic. I want us to look at something called place value of numbers. For a number to be mentioned to be for a quantity to be mentioned like 20, 30, 100, 1,000, 100,000, 1 million or a billion, definitely the position of each and every number must be outlined. For example, now you can have a table starting from 1s, 10s, 100s, 1,000s, then we have 10,000. Then we have hundreds of thousand. Then we have a million. It, it goes and goes. Tens of millions, hundreds of millions and billions. So if I have a number here, five, two, one, three, four, six, seven. It will be read as because the five is under millions, it will be read as 5,213,467. And that brings us to reading numbers in words. Okay? So, it is important to know how to read numbers and how to, uh, to write them when you are told in words. For example, I have a number like uh, 95 uh, 704 95 How will you read this number? It is read as 95,704 written as 95 5 thousand seven hundred and four. Now, many times you will either be told to write in words or write in figures. This one was given in figures and you are told to write in words. We also have uh, another important aspect under natural numbers that is grouping of numbers. These numbers are called natural numbers because they are counting numbers. We are going to group them in terms of odd numbers even numbers and prime numbers. So we start with even numbers. Even numbers. So number one. Even numbers are numbers that are divisible, exactly divisible by two. Exactly divisible by two. By two. And what about second one, which is odd numbers? 
Odd numbers are numbers which are not exactly divisible by 2. Now, we have another category of numbers called prime numbers. These numbers, except for 1, any other number that is only divisible by 1 and itself is called a prime number. Example of an even number we can say 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, uh, 15, uh, 16, that way. And here I, I, I will have 1, 3, 5, 13, 17, 19, 21, etc etc they are not exactly divisible why and here i have a number like two i have a number like three i have a number like five seven eleven thirteen uh, seventeen nineteen twenty three your work can you get me the prime numbers between forty and 50. From that I want us to look at something else that is rounding off, rounding off of numbers. Let's us consider a number like 73, 52. The place value of a number will determine the value to which you are going to round off to. So round off to the nearest one. Tens, uh, C, Let's have uh, thousands, thousands. So you are going to come to this number and say, this is ones, this is tens, this is uh, hundreds, and this is thousands. So let's deal with A. Round off to the nearest ones. You are going to look at this number. What is it? Okay, the number is two. So when you have been given a number, you look at what is to this side. So to the nearest ones, it remains 7352. To the nearest tens, you come to tens and look at the number to the right hand side and you find it, if it is more than five, you are going to change the figure to the next value. But if it is less than five, then you leave it the way it is. So to the nearest tens, this number is going to be, you look at this, it is less than 5, so it becomes 7350. To the nearest thousands, you are going to say 1, tens, 100, thousands. You are going to look at the next figure, and the next figure is 3. 3 is less than 5. So the number will therefore be 7, zero this was first change to zero then the rest of the numbers zero zero and that is for rounding off can we also look at operations involving natural numbers in operations we've been learning about uh, signs mathematical signs we said that mathematics is a game that uses numbers that is numbers are symbols it also uses signs to communicate precisely so i have uh, i have addition as my sign addition i which is denoted as the symbol is that one i also have subtraction which is minus i also have multiplication which is denoted as with an across that is that way then i also have division which is denoted by this symbol here these are going to form the basis of mathematical symbols that we are going to use for addition 2 plus 3 is equal to I'm going to have 5 because I've added 3 on top of 2. That is counting number. And now, what if I am having 653 plus 653 plus 32? What am I going to do? I'm going to arrange them in a vertical position such that I have 653 
I'm going to take the other numbers. Once, let the number that is at the position of once uh, be matched with this one, which is two, and then three becomes there. Now I can add easily, where I'm going to get five, I'm going to get eight, six. The answer is 685. Now let's go to subtraction. In subtraction, it simply means taking away something. You are taking out of. So for example, you are given three oranges, then somebody has taken one. How many are you left with? You're left with the two oranges. Or if there were apples, you will be left with two. So let's consider a number like three minus two. That one will be definitely one. That is the easiest example ever. Let's talk of uh, number 43, 22, minus 24, 37. So here, are you going to look at it and give me the answer? Maybe not. So what am I going, what are you going to do? You have a choice. You are going to arrange these numbers in an, a vertical position. Once I have two in the position of ones, I have two in the position of tens, two in the position of hundreds, three in the position of thousands, four. I'm going to take the other number as well. In the position of ones, I have seven in the position of tens, three in the position of hundreds, four and in the position of thousands, two. So the answer is 18, 85. That is my final answer for this one. Okay, now let us look at multiplication. If I've been given a number like two times three, it, is mean, it means adding two three times, like two plus two plus two, which gives me six. Three times uh, two is six. Two times three means adding two three times. That is it. Now, I have a number like, let me give you the same, uh, 651 times 33. 33. You have to add 651 33 times. So to avoid many stories or the long process, you are going to basically do this. Arrange them in vertical manner, that is 6, 5, 1, times 3, 3. Thereafter, put your sign over there. The answer is 21,483. 21, now let's come to division. Division is the opposite of, division is the opposite of multiplication. If a number has been divided by the other one, it means it has been subtracted the number, that number of times. So for example, I have to divide 3654, 3654, divide by seven. So have your sign very well, like this one. Put this number in. 3, 6, 5, okay, it was 5, 4, sorry, 5, 4, divided by 7. This is called dividend, and this is called divisor, divisor. We want to find what is called quotient, and quotient is found by, this one goes here, it doesn't go, 7 cannot go into 3. But in 36, it goes. How many times? Five times, which is 35. You write that 35 here. You subtract, you get one. It goes into 15. You bring this one down. It goes into 15. Yes. How many times? Twice, which is, okay, it goes twice, which is 14. What is remaining? One. I then pull this one down. I get four. Can seven goes into 14? Yes. How many times? Twice. So the answer is 522. And this is what we call the 
Di uh, okay, this is dividend divisor. This is what we call now quotient. Quotient. I hope you enjoyed my class. And for more, you can subscribe and follow us. Thank you.